who are actually decision makers. So every business loan we make is approved right here. Experience, service, and accessibility. That's how WISFIS has become the largest locally headquartered business lender in the region. We're WSFS Bank, and we stand for service. How can we help your business grow? To learn more, visit WSFSBank.com. Member FDIC. All right, 728. Good morning to everybody on our Facebook Live this morning. What's up? Check out the Bill and Jessica podcast right up on our free power app in your app store. You can download the uh, free app, top left hand drop down, click on podcasting, listen to segments from our show at any time. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, a couple food trending stories to talk about. Pumpkin spice Bud Light Seltzer is coming in a new fall variety pack. Say what? First off, I ain't into the seltzers. I know, a lot I know, of people I are, know. though, and I'm, I don't know but if I'm into this. Pumpkin spice, though? Eh, well, everything's pumpkin spice now. Pumpkin spice. Spice. Bud Light Seltzer has a new variety pack coming out called uh, the Flannel Pack. And it includes fall-inspired flavors. The limited edition pack uh, features four flavors, pumpkin spice, toasted marshmallow, maple pear, ugh, and know, apple I, crisp. Mm, I think it's doing too much. Yeah, I, I definitely. All the drinks come in 12-ounce cans that feature a flannel-inspired plaid design. <laughs> get out your flannels. I just get out the hoodies. Get out your flannels and your s'mores. <laughs> Say what now? You got to wear the flannels. Y'all wear... Well, what's a hoodie? Meet me out back at the bonfire. Your- I thought it was a sweatshirt. <laughs> a sweatshirt with a hood. What's a hoodie y'all talk about? How about your flannels? Bring your hey, flannels. Put the one, all right, Let's pumpkin get a little cozy. spice, maybe the apple. I'm not into no, the No, not the apple. I'm not into the pumpkin. Maybe I'd rather the do, apple and maybe the marshmallow. I'd rather do marshmallow and pumpkin spice than apple. I don't know. The spice part for me is like not mixing well with the seltzer. Well, it's going to be available beginning uh, September the 6th at retailers nationwide, but it'll only be available through the end of October. All right, good. So it won't be here long. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Shake Shack has partnered with dessert and bakery brand Milk Bar for creation of two limited edition shakes, the chocolate birthday cake shake. All right. And the cornflake chocolate drizzle shake. Both limited edition shakes will be available at Shake Shack locations nationwide starting Friday, September 3rd. Are we, do we have any Shake Shacks around here? Mm, I don't know. These stories make national news and then we do them and then it's like we don't even have any around here. Shake Shack near me. Newark, Baltimore. Okay. Well, a lot of people travel over there. They did. Speaking and of Jersey, D.C., Philly. Oh, okay, well, I'm interested in this uh, Wayback Burger they just opened up down here. I know, I know you are. Um, they moved it from closer to where, uh, what's the name is, right? Didn't it used to be in the shopping center down the down the road? I haven't seen it. No. The new one that you're saying that they put No, no, but there. it used to be, before that, it used to be where BJ's is. Yes. You turn in, so I guess yes. it's not there no more. They moved, they have its own building. All right. And it's a drive well, Good for them. Good for them. I hope it works, because it wasn't... Too packed yesterday. Oh. I mean, Chick-fil-A, they got to have a cop directed traffic to get in there. I know. But if you're saying that they have the drive through because they moved over to... Where the old Hardee's was? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that that's, like, more convenient. Yeah, it is more convenient. But it's, like, off to the side. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Hopefully, it'll work. Now, when I went there before, it was in the shopping center. And I did it. Yeah. But it was because I had time. My but wife you do and have I go to in go in there and place an order and get out of the car and wait for it, you know? Who does that old gag anymore? So I'm hoping <laughs> that <laughs> the drive through does work better. Who goes in to get a burger yeah. anymore? You know, you got to go in, place the order, wait, yeah. wait. No, actually. You got to get out of the car. Yeah, who gets out of the car what? and goes you in and get gets food? get out of the car? Nobody goes in and gets food anymore. <laughs> Everybody pulls up and they either do curbside or they go through a drive through <laughs> No one gets out anymore. <laughs> So I think they made the right decision there. And you know what I used to bitch about all the time, but it's actually quicker, is going through Chick-fil-A line, and they yeah. had people standing there. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, God, what are you doing coming to my window? Wait, wait, let me order at the thing. No. But they, like, order they it on the thing. Set up. And then you it goes, it does go faster. Yeah. But I didn't and believe it at first. And even when your car is moving in the line, they move with you. They keep that line moving. I thought it was just... Oh, give them something to do. Send, send. We have extra employees today. Send them outside oh, to talk no, to cars. No, I think it's part of their. Oh, it is. System to keep it moving. But <laughs> fast, friendly service. It's their pleasure. Well, you. Yeah, it is their pleasure. Yeah. Well, you know, it's me. You know me. You know, sometimes I'm a little. I'm a little. Well. So it, we got it up is there. A little. Yeah, but we got up there, and for the first time, and they came over to the window. Can I take your order? 
I said no. I haven't seen the menu yet. Okay. All right. But they have a little... But the menu's uh, up. Yeah, no, but they... Well, the one I went to recently, they have a... They pull it right out. Like this little... Oh, they have card. a paper? Yeah. It's not a paper. It's like... um, It's plastic, but it's the car... It's the whole menu. And she goes... Oh. And she shows it to me. Let's do it again. <laughs> and the, no, you got to do it closer. Do it closer. And I go... <laughs> <laughs> you take it. I, I mean, ripped it you, out of her hand. But when you go, don't you know what you want? Like I have my no. go-tos at well, Chick-fil-A. Okay, but why would I? But you, you can't assume I, that. No, I'm not assuming. What's I'm the point? Okay, I know my go-tos. But if you go and you know what you want, take the menu down. Just have a little box there to order. What do you mean? Why? They have it. They show you right here. They want like the menus way up here where you were like the original. You prefer. But I'm way back here. You prefer. To go up and look at the big screen. Well, na now I know because we go, but you know, um, what what I think I might do just for a bit is is when I'm like way back here, like way back here, and they come up. Can I take your order? I'm gonna say sure, and I'm gonna get out of the car. Oh my god! And they're gonna and like go, look at me, and, and I'm gonna go walk up, to up the, like this. No. Hold on, I'm looking at the menu. No, no. Now other places. They put new things on the menu and new features. Like, That's what like I mean. The week and stuff. Yeah. Well, they don't. They don't do that special stuff. They theirs is the same. No, Chick Fil A is banging. And, the and only thing I, new that you're gonna see, like their feature, it'll be up on the board, uh, like the peach milkshake, and that's only for certain seasons, and it'll say it. Oh, I know all about the milkshake. So yeah. I, I get the Oreo. Yeah. We get the peach. Oh my god! Have you tried the peach? Have not. Oh my god! But you and I don't like the same thing. I, I think Anything you like say, this. I don't like. I think you're gonna like it because the kids turned me on to it. Well, maybe if the kids. Yeah, and they were like, "You have to try this." Jessica would now get I'm it. Hooked. Jessica would get an. She wants an apple milkshake. No, <laughs> and I would not normally. I'm not like really into peach. But they were like, "You need to try it. Just trust us." Okay. And I did, and it's really good. Uh, and Insomnia Cookies is celebrating the beginning of the new school year with three limited time only breakfast inspired cookies. Uh, the Everything Bagel Cookie. Oh. Yes, everything you'd expect in a bagel, including the poppy seeds and onion, minus the cream cheese. Uh, the Cinnamon Bun, Cinnamon Chips, and Cinnamon Swirl with cream cheese drops, and Cereal and Milk Cookie, mm. which includes fruity uh, peppers. So it says peppers, uh, typo. Fruity Pebbles Cereal. Marshmallows and white chocolate chips and a brown butter cookie uh, available Monday, September the 13th. Goodness, Insom that sounds like a lot. Where's Insomnia Cookies? Can we look There's that up? There's one in Newark. Oh. Yeah, on campus. We saw it when we were there. And they stay open until 3 a.m. And college students can place 3 their order. 3 a.m.? Yeah, and they can For cookies? like a door dash and what? get them delivered. Yeah, until 3 a.m. This is another... Um, Another thing about uh, DoorDash, yeah, they'll come and deliver you a milkshake. Mm -hmm. Just a milkshake? Yeah, or some some sweet tea. But there was something else. See, we don't use it that much. Well, I don't. But I don't. The kids. Yeah, we do. Kind of. I guess. Um, I've read a story online. If you're not gonna like leave a tip, or a tip, yeah, you do it on the app, right? I believe so. Okay. Um. But the ones, like people who order and don't leave a tip, DoorDash will not take it. Some drivers will just like opt out of that order and it will sit and sit and sit. No, you got you leave a tip. So they were like, it was the whole article saying like how to use the app properly, what's expected. You know, you just don't order pay and then expect these people to bring you the stuff for free. That's like part of the whole thing. Yeah, you got a tip. Yeah. Who don't tip though? There, look at the, it's trending. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Seven thirty-seven. It's a Bill and Jessica show. We got uh, Taco Fest coming back to the beach. Yep. Well, Georgetown. <laughs> Here's all the details. Let's go. Locally owned. The voice.